So my recipe tonight is going to be a, a lobster bisque, and then I'm going to do sauteed sea scallops with an orange honey glaze. I really like that. I put it on my carrots last night, but it's really good on this. I'm also going to make a balsamic orange slaw to put on top of that. But what I want to do is I want to prepare the lobster first because I'm going to saute it. So what I do is take some freshly cut garlic, a couple of pads of butter, put that in the microwave for about 25 seconds. And I let that cook a little bit. Um, so what I'm going to do is while that's cooking, I'm going to um, start making the dressing for the slaw. So what that consists of is a little bit of orange juice that I squeeze from a fresh orange, okay? A little bit of balsamic vinegar. I'm gonna do a little bit of oregano. I'm gonna do a little bit of mayonnaise. Also gonna do some salt and pepper in there. Mix it up. Now I may want to add a little more mayonnaise to make it thicker. No, I'm actually gonna add a little more mayonnaise to that to make it thicker. Because it has to be a slaw consistency. So I'll probably have a little extra dressing left over, but that's fine. So that's an orange balsamic dressing that I'm gonna then later mix with the slaw. Okay, so the butter should be melted. And that has garlic in it. So what I do is slather that on the lobster, make sure I get chunks of garlic in there. Good chunks of garlic in there. Okay, so I've got the garlic butter on there. Salt, pepper, and a little bit of the oregano again. That's gonna give that some nice flavor. So I'm gonna set the lobster tail aside because that's gonna saute once I get over to the stove. And um, I'm gonna salt and pepper the sea scallops a little bit. get those over next to the stove and then I'll come back in a minute and I'll finish making the honey glaze but I want to get over to the stove and get going so I'm gonna add in the honey glaze real quick so I have some orange juice here I'm gonna take a little bit of it out and I'm going to do pretty much equal parts honey And I am going to add in some fresh garlic to that. And then I'm just going to give that a little stir as well. Just to get it mixed up. And then that'll go on the scallops right when they're finishing up. So great. I have my slaw dressing. I have my glaze that's going to go on the um, scallops in the pan. And now we're going to get started on the lobster bisque. So now I'm going to get started on the lobster bisque. So what I do is I turn a, a tall saucepan on to medium. I'm going to add two pads of butter. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. Once that gets um, melted down, then I'm going to add the onions and celery. I'm going to start heating this pan because I'm going to need to start cooking the lobster because at some point I'm going to have to cut up some of the cooked lobster and hand blend it into this so it's the lobster flavor is infused into the actual soup. So I'm going to get this pan nice and hot as well. And once 
So that's getting nice and melted. So I'm going to put celery and it's finely chopped because I want as much of it to mix in once I use the pan blender uh, and onions. So I'm gonna put those in, put those cooking because I want those nice and soft and translucent um, before I put the garlic in and before I finish the rest, next start of the recipe. So I'll be back in a second to show you how we continue. Okay, so the onions and um, celery have a nice translucent kind of feel to it. They still need to cook a little bit more, but before I'm done, I add a little bit of the um, chopped garlic to give that garlic flavor. You don't want to put that in too soon or it can um, burn and turn brown. So you just want to get it in there and let it cook for another minute. Turn that down a little bit so the garlic doesn't burn. This pan, almost as hot as I need it to be. Again, your cast iron, you really want to make sure it's nice and hot. Okay, so um, while this is heating up a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of flour because I do want the bisque to um, thicken a little bit. So I've got that all mixed in there. So it's this little sloshy mix. I uh, got it all mixed in there. I'm gonna let that cook down a little bit so the flour taste goes away. And in the meantime, I'm going to get the lobster tail in the pan. Nice. And sometimes a little bit of that butter comes off and I'll just toss it back on top to mix in there. So, so that's cooked down to where I want it. So I'm going to deglaze that pan I'm going to deglaze that pan with a little bit of white wine. Hear that sizzle? That means all the good bits on the bottom of that are coming off into that liquid. I'm also going to add at this time a little salt, a little pepper. Now, you don't want to cook lobster too long. because it, uh, it can get real rubbery, and since you're gonna put it in this dish, you definitely don't wanna cook it too long. But I'm gonna put the lid on a little bit, because I'm actually going to put it in, um, I'm actually going uh, to put it in the oven to cook a little bit more. So this, I'm getting this mixed up. And once that's nice and heated, I'm going to add my vegetable stock to that. I'm going to get that mixed up. Just want to check these lobster tails. Got a nice little crispy. Yep, a little more. So while that's cooking, then I'm going to add my tomato uh, paste. I use it in the tube because the, the cans, if you open them up and you use part of it, you got to throw it away because there's no way to really save it. So I like to use the organic. You really put in a decent amount in there because you really want that tomatoey flavor in there. Put a little more in there. There we go. Now that's going to get that one flavor in. So lobster I'm going to turn off. Get that plate out of the way. And actually put 
put these on a little metal tray, put them in the oven so they stay warm. But I am going to actually take one of the bits and pieces off of it right now because I'm going to save that for I'm going to save that for the actual soup. And that's what I'm going to hand blend into it to um, get it out of there. So just so you can see this, just take the fork, push it in, roll it back, and that meat will come right out of there. So that piece I'm going to save. The rest of this goes into the oven, and we'll be right back. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is slice up this piece of lobster in really small pieces because this is going to go into the bisque and it's going to be hand blended into the the soup or the bisque so it that lobster flavor is infused in there along with the celery the garlic and the onion Now you're not gonna get all the chunks out you know, mixed in there really well, but I'm gonna move this pan over here so you can get a little better look at it. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and have, and uh, add the lobster meat. At this point in time, I'm also gonna add a little bit of cayenne pepper, not too much. One time I put way too much in it, you couldn't even eat it, it was really hot. So there we go, just a little smattering of that. And then I'm gonna take the hand mixer. And get all of the vegetables and the lobster infused into that soup base. So it's nice and mixed in. You can smell the wine, you can smell the, the tomato. I think that should be good enough. So what you want to do is make sure you always have a measuring cup that you use nearby. So you can plop that dirty mixer in there. And then what I do at this point is I add the heavy cream and I'm going to turn the temperature up because I want that cut to come to a boil. Then that's where the flour activates and thickens it up. I'm going to add just a little bit more tomato paste. So I want that orange color in there. Okay. So I'm going to move that back over to this burner. I'm going to bring that to a boil. And as soon as that's to a boil, I'm going to uh, start cooking the scallops. So now I'm going to work on the scallops. Scallops cook very quickly. So you don't want to have them in the pan too long. So I'm gonna use a little higher grade olive oil, which allows the pan to get hotter. So I also have that butter flavor. I'm going to use a, a ghee, which is a, a grass-fed clarified butter that really gives it that buttery flavor and it allows you to saute in butter at a higher temperature. So once we get that nice and melted and hot, keep stirring the bisque. Get that back to a boil again. So once that pan is nice and hot, I'm going to put those scallops face down with salt and pepper. And make sure it is nice and hot.
really nice and hot. So that's back to a boil. It's starting to thicken a little bit. We'll let that simmer. And I'll be back in a second to finish off the scallops. Okay, so the soup is thickening up. I'm going to flip the scallops. See, they have that nice little brown color. Perfect. I'm going to set those on there. Now what I'm going to do is add, I'm going to add the honey orange glaze. That's going to help them cook. It's also going to thicken that glaze up, but it's going to give that garlic. Yeah, it's going to give that garlic um, an orangey flavor to it. Keep scooping that up and over it. And that glaze will thicken up too, which will make a nice honey coating on that when it's all done. I'll plate it up in a minute. Okay, so now I'm going to finish the dish. So what I'm gonna do is I took a little bit of that drizzle that I used last night on my salmon that has balsamic uh, and orange in it. So I'm going to lay a little bit on the plate, like so. to bring the scallops over, set them in there, beautiful. I also reserved that little bit of honey glaze that cooked down on top. So see how that thickened up? It's so nice. So I'm going to put that on top. Oh, that is so good. So then what I'm gonna do is, I have white carrots, julienne, I have celery, whoop, get as much of that in there as I won't need to. Um, I've julienne that. I've also sliced oranges pretty thinly. And then I'm going to use that slaw dressing I made, just enough to coat it. Yeah, I'll use that for something else this week. So I'm going to get that mixed in. So then I have these little pieces of this coleslaw on top of each one of those scallops. So you're getting honey, you're getting balsamic, you're getting orange, you're getting celery. You're getting um, real orange. That's on there as well. Mmm, that's so good. So then, I'm going to grab some of my lobster bisque. Get that on the plate. And then how I finish that is I have that other little piece of lobster. That I am going to peel out of there. Look at that. So tender and juicy. That's so great. So I'm going to chop that into decent sized chunks. I'm going to drop that in there so I have some chunks. Then to completely finish it off, some chives on top of that. And there you go. 
homemade lobster bisque with sauteed scallops with balsamic honey mustard or honey orange um, reduction on top.